First, most of us can't imagine life without a washing machine, can we? But what if you had to wait a total of 46 days for your replacement? When David Rolston's service machine was declared unfixable, he was told he'd have a new one in 15 days. But after that deadline passed, it was beginning to feel like David and his dirty washing were caught in a time trap. Here's Colette. Colette, I really need your help. Please, please, please. Okay, David, I'm on my way. David, how did you get yourself into this mess? Thursday evening, just had the tea on, wash going in the background, and uh, the machine started bouncing around underneath the uh, worktop, and uh, went bang. You have a look at the machine, uh, think, hmm, what's going wrong here? Maybe there's a trainer stuck inside. Uh, switch it back on again, nothing. Next morning, rang service, uh, explained the problem. Uh, they checked the purchase date and things like that, and said they'd have an engineer out as soon as they could. Following Monday, engineer Julie arrived, uh, had a very brief look at the washing machine and declared clinically dead. You take your washing machine for granted and it's amazing how full that wash box gets, it, you, even in a matter of days. You know, I have to thank all the friends that have helped us out and done washing for us, but it's an absolute nightmare. So it was three weeks later when the engineer arrived back, started to dismantle the machine and uh, the water of its last faithful wash seeped over the floor and uh, we suddenly found we had the wrong parts. Wrote the service again, uh, explained the situation to them and uh, politely asked them to replace the machine. So uh, next day a letter arrived, I thought oh, that was quick, but of course it was the acknowledgement of the first letter saying we're sorry, we're sorry, we're sorry and that was about it. Still got a dead washing machine, still got piles and piles of dirty laundry upstairs. I think we're getting to uh, Day 36, round service again, no response, thought right, okay, write to them again, uh, copied the letter to the Times, to the Margaret newspapers, to Trading Standards, Federation of Small Businesses, emailed all the friends, got them to email service, and uh, still dead washing machine. The engineer was due to arrive yesterday, and uh, post arrives with a little cancellation card from the uh, repair company. Well, David, that really is a very sorry tale. I have brought you something here to help you through. Some nice clean socks. You probably could have done with those <laughs> quite a few days Thank ago. Thank you very much. Actually, I do have some better news. I've been in touch with service, and guess what? They're going to replace your washing machine. At long last. Indeed. You know what, Colette? What? That champagne's been chilling for quite a while. Let's go for it. What are you waiting for? <laughs> That pile of washing wouldn't be anything like yours at all, would it? Well, my washing machine, I couldn't tell you whether it's broken or not because I've never used it. My mother still does it all for me. Oh, <laughs> Now, good Thanks. news for David and his friends who have been helping out with his washing. Here's the apology. Service say they don't expect their customers to go that long without a washing machine. They told Fair Play that 15 working days is the maximum time for a customer to be without the use of the machine. Well, David waited 46 days, as we said. And as a footnote, service tell us they've terminated their contract with the engineering firm they've been using here.